Is the Pouchette Matisse still worth it? Let's have a look. Hello everyone, welcome back to another mommy review where I review all things for the love of. Today I am checking out the Pochette Matisse, a classic from Louis Vuitton and seeing is it still worth it. Now before I get started, if you like the content on this channel, I appreciate it very much if you consider giving this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for considering and on with the video. So I know that this might be a controversial topic because Pochette Matisse is like a favorite among many handbag lovers. But nowadays, I'm just thinking, is it still worth it? I've had a love-hate relationship with this bag for the longest time and I'm still sitting on the fence about it. So for this video, I want to go over the pros and cons and maybe even potentially talk my way out of buying this handbag because I certainly need to curate my collection a little bit better. So for a pochette in French is definition like a smaller bag, or at least that's what I understand. And like the shape of the pochette Matisse is inspired from the front pocket of a Matisse hobo. It's really hard to believe now really that this handbag has been around for over a full decade. Originally it was released in 2012, maybe in 2013, however it wasn't until like 2018 that it quickly became like a must-have bag from Louis Vuitton and it was really hard to get a hold of and nowadays they have various version of the Matisse like the Matisse East West that was released in 2022 which I feel is like really modern like fresh take actually just quite like that handbag you can check out my review of that handbag on my channel if you're interested and of course there is also the Pouchet Matisse Micro, which I also did a in-person handbag review on, but it's more of like a mini accessory, I would say, for the Micro since it doesn't hold all that much. Okay, so right now the Pouchet Matisse, as you can see in the monogram version, is $3,450 and it's come a long way compared to when it first released. Now there's also the reverse as well as like the leather Pochat Matisse that's priced at $3,700. I know there's always a big debate between the leather versus the monogram. I do find that the leather is like not as loud in terms of logoing, it's not as in your face. But I don't know of how I feel about getting another black leather handbag. I feel like I have so many black leather handbags in my collection already. That's not to say they only have black, they have several different colors, but I just not really drawn to the other lighter colors, particularly for example, cream, I'm worried about color transfer. So really I'm torn more between the reverse monogram versus like the classic monogram. So let's go over the pros related to this handbag about why I'm totally for this bag and adding it to my collection first. First, I think it's a very functional bag. I mean, it's definitely not one of those mini bags that have limited capacity that you can only hold your phone and like a card holder. And I really love that. It's built for like everyday life. The other thing is it does have organization built in, it has three main compartments on the inside with a zipper pocket on the back side as well. It's really set up in a way that allows you for optimal organization. I think one of the biggest perks is that the zip pocket on the back does easily allow you to have access to your phone and it does fit a larger phone as well in that back pocket. Another pro related to the Matisse is that it is a classic. I really don't see it going away from the Louis Vuitton collection. Like I feel like if you love Louis Vuitton monogram or reverse canvas or just like the brand in general, it's like a really solid choice. The monogram canvas or canvas in general is just so sturdy and easy to clean and super lightweight in nature. So I love a bag that's not too heavy that I can use on a regular basis. So this checks all the boxes for me. I understand that some people, they want to stay away from the logo bags, but personally, I always make an exception for Louis Vuitton canvas. While I think some might see it being a little bit tacky and like maybe plastered with logos, I really see like it's almost like a hundred years of 
house history behind the monogram. It's like beckoning a bygone era of luxury travel. And the last pro I want to go over is that I think this handbag is very versatile in terms of styling because you can pair it classic or casual and it delivers like a really modern yet like very timeless appeal. You can see that like you can wear it as a crossbody or a shoulder bag or you can use it as a top handle, whichever kind of works for your outfit for that given day. Of course, I do think that like this handbag is super cute, but if you need someone to talk you out of buying the pochette Matisse, here are the cons that I want to go over and for you to seriously consider. Number one, are you a fan of flat bags? While technically or aesthetically looking, it's really nice, but I find that the mechanism of using it, of opening and closing the bag can be a little bit tricky at times. Another thing is related to potential issues with glazing, particular on the side here. A lot of people have major issues, especially with the earlier versions of the bag. There was like cracking on the top flap and like glazing coming apart, crooked hardware and like the monogram print like not lining up like a little bit awkwardly on the bag. So these issues force many people to return the bags, especially aiming to try a newer version to see if it will hold up a little bit better. So if you are looking to purchase this pre-love, just kind of watch out for those potential quality issues. Okay, another con related to it is the divider. I know some people love how there are dividers and there's organization built into the bag, but I think that dividers also limit capacity because after all, you'll be required to try to play some Tetris with your stuff and trying to figure out which divider like to put things in in order to kind of best make it fit. You'll have to be mindful of how you fill the compartments and you'll need to make it balanced. If you overfill the front compartment with too many things and overstuff the bag, it can make the entire bag look very lumpy. I think it would have been nice if there wasn't a divider and you can just like choose to get an organizer if you need to, if you want added organization for your handbag. For the third con, so hardware is something I want to bring your attention to. So they have this beautiful S-lock, I think it's very classy, but it does tend to scratch very easily. It is a very finicky lock, I would say. It does take practice to get used to this S-lock, but I wonder if it will be preferential to have a magnetic lock for ease of access. Magnetic opening is so helpful when you are on the move and you just want to get in and out of your bag really quickly. So in between like talking about the hardware and the divider that limits its capacity, the next con I want to go over is related to the sizing. In between like wanting something spacious but also want it to be compact enough that it's not bulky, some people do find this is like a not too big, not too small handbag. But for me, the Matisse lands in this awkward, kind of like medium size bag for some people. I either usually go for like a small crossbody for my phone, card, wallet, like keys, or I go for kind of like a really big tote for my laptop, gym clothes, or like. So anything in between never really gets used in my day to day. So that's why I'm really torn whether I should splurge on the Louis Vuitton Matisse at this point, or if there is a right need for it in my handbag collection. The style of the bag is very like briefcase-esque in its design and has this really long shoulder strap that allows it to be carried as a messenger. And I'm not sure if that is the style that really jives with my wardrobe at this time. I mean, I know plenty of people who love this bag and use it nonstop on a daily basis. We all have different needs and likes, which would make any of us review a handbag and have like very different perspective on it. And I think that's perfectly fine. But for some people, the briefcase like style is just not their vibe. It's kind of like a giant clutch. All right, the next con, maybe one of the biggest cons for some people is the price. Like a few years ago, the price of a 
monogram Pochette and Matisse is well it started around one thousand eight hundred thirty dollars. Now it's three thousand four hundred fifty dollars. Now this is in Canadian. Keep in mind this is not a leather bag. It is canvas, and though it is well known for Louis Vuitton canvas, it doesn't change the fact that this is canvas. Although I think that canvas would cost less. On the flip side, you could argue that it will hold up really well because of the material and because Louis Vuitton canvas just does really well in the resale market. The other thing I was contemplating was to test out this bag using a purchase of the Coach Cassie because like that one is a pretty close equivalent in terms of like sizing as well as the style and it's a much more affordable budget to kind of test drive this type of bag and not to mention the coach turn lock is a lot easier to close so if you're interested in more about that check out my separate youtube video comparing the coach cassie to the louis vuitton pochette matisse so what is my final conclusion is the pochette matisse worth it is it worth purchasing this louis vuitton handbag and adding it to your collection what do you think now that I've gone over all the pros and cons, I hope it's helpful for you in deciding. I definitely did this research for myself to decide if I want to spend or splurge on this handbag. Hopefully this research is helpful for some of you who are contemplating or if you simply need someone to talk you out of buying this handbag or consider selling it pre-loved. And at the end of the day, I love the shape, the size, the functionality of the bag, but it holds everything I need, but there are just these minor cons that I'm not sure if I'm okay with just letting go. It really comes down to if you love it and if it makes sense for you. So do you think that the Pochette Matisse is the holy grail bag for you? I would love to hear from you your experience with the handbags. Would you splurge or would you pass on this handbag? Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me on this mommy review and I'll see you next time. Take care and stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.